Notice I retain the parentheses. That's essential to getting the correct answers, to retain your parentheses. So this means to subtract the product. This still means I'm subtracting the product. The difference, this is an indicated product. This is the actual product. But now to subtract, I add the opposite of all the terms within the parentheses. So I have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 plus the opposite of 3x squared is a negative 3x squared. The opposite of a positive 5x is a negative 5x. The opposite of a negative 2 is positive 2. Now that I have addition, I can simply combine like terms. I can combine the 4x squared with the negative 3x squared the negative 4x with the negative 5x and the 1 with the 2. So my answer will be x squared minus 9x plus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. A negative 4 plus a negative 5 is negative 9. 1 plus 2 is 3. Got another example. We have x cubed minus 8 divided by x minus 2 minus 4x squared plus 6x minus x to the fourth divided by x squared. We have the two division problems and a subtraction. Of course I do division before I do the subtraction. So I'm going to do the two division problems. To do x cubed minus 8 divided by x minus 2 I need to do long division. So I'm dividing the x minus 2 into x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 8. I had to put in the placeholders. I have to go x cubed, x squared, x to the first, and then x to the 0 or no x. We had no x squared and no x term, so therefore the coefficients would be the understood zero. x goes into x cubed, x squared times. Multiply, x squared times a negative 2 is a negative 2x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. To subtract, I add the opposite. The opposite of x cubed would be a negative x cubed. The opposite of negative 2x squared is a positive 2x squared. x cubes will cancel. 0 plus 2 would be 2x squared. Bring down the 0x. x in the 2x squared is a positive. 2x. Now in some cases you might want to come out to the side to even do that. But you've got 2x squared divided by x. To divide powers having the same base, you keep the base and subtract the exponents. So it would be the 2. x, 2 subtract 1 is 1. So that would be 2x to the first or 2x. Now you multiply 2x times negative 2 is going to be a negative 4x. 2x times x is 2x squared. 
2 subtract, I add the opposite. Two x squared and negative two x squared is zero. Zero plus four x is four x. Bring down the eight. X is going to four x. Four times. Four times the negative two is negative eight. Four times x is four x. Now I'm ready to subtract, which means I add the opposite, and I get zero remainder. So we divide x cubed minus 8 by x minus 2 and get x squared plus 2x plus 4. Since we're dividing a polynomial by a polynomial, the correct procedure is long division. Now I'm going to divide the 4x squared plus 6x minus x to the fourth by x squared. Since x squared is a monomial, I simply divide the x squared in each of the terms. x squared into 4x squared is 4, because the x squared is to cancel. x squared into 6x cubed is going to be 6x. Keep the base, subtract the exponents, 3 minus 2 is 1. x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. To divide powers having the same base, Keep the base, subtract the exponents. 4 subtract 2 is 2. Also remember that the divisor is understood to go into each term of the dividend. That's the distributive property. So I've got to divide the 4x squared by x squared, the 6x cubed by x squared, the x to the fourth by x squared. Now to subtract, I add the opposite of the expression being subtracted. So I simply write down the x squared plus 2x plus 4. I'm going to add the opposite of each of the terms being subtracted. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. The opposite of a positive 6x is a negative 6x. The opposite of a negative x squared is going to be a positive x squared. Now that I have addition, I can combine the like terms. I can combine the x squared with the x squared, the 2x with the negative 6x, and the 4 with the negative 4. Well, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. 2x plus a negative 6x is a negative 4x, and 4 and negative 4 gives me 0. So the answer is 2x squared minus 4x. Now it's time for you to check your understanding. Follow the normal procedure for doing exercises. Copy down the exercises. Stop the tape. Work the exercises. Restart the tape to check your answers. The first one, 3x minus the quantity x minus 1 squared. The second one, 4x times the quantity 2 minus x minus the quantity 2 minus x squared. 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 2. I will say be sure that you note that 3x minus 1 does not have parentheses around it.